here uh, and sharing the stage with two great uh, marketing executives. Um, Denise Guerra, she's Regional Marketing Director for Steel Lauder, Latin America, and she's responsible for all things marketing strategy, trade marketing, digital, and many other areas in more than 12 markets in the region. Welcome, Denise. And we're also here with Manuel Medina Riverol. He's Marketing Director at Bayer Healthcare Consumer Care Mexico, with many, many years of experience in the industry and also in marketing. A 12-year career in Procter & Gamble marketing. Well, I'm going to, to start. Um, for Steel Other, I am going to, to, to talk as a Steel Other brand. For a Steel Other brand, is a brand that has been in the market for over 60 years already. So we have very loyal consumers who have started with the brand since the brand started back in 1945. So we have a, a, a consumer that is loyal, but it, that right now it's getting older. Um, not that we don't have younger consumers right now, but our main, main, main um, consumer, it's around 50 years old and older. Um, but the brand, as you know, in, in beauty, it's very important to be on the trends, be, to be young every time. So the brand has been reinventing itself to be targeting new generation of consumers. So what we like and the legacy that Estee Lauder has is that your grandmother passes the brand to the mother and to the daughter. So what has been challenging is this pass along of the brand to the younger generations because they now have a lot more of opportunities, a lot more of brands to choose than that wasn't the, the case back in 1950s, for example, that the brands were not a lot. So we have a younger target that we want to, to drive that it's called millennials. Uh, we here have very different opinions about millennials and we were speaking about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Millennials, it's something that it's a 19 year old, but I'm also considered millennial for some brands. So right, right now the, de the definition of millennial is a little bit broad, but we want to target a millennial who is a younger consumer, not, I'm not speaking about a 15 year old, but a younger consumer to the target of the brand who can now be and, and, and be loyal to the brand in the future, no? who could be the, the generation of the future for the brand. Mm -hmm. But what I can tell you about our brands at Bayer is that we play in, in almost all the healthcare se uh, segments and we hold leadership positions in most of them. So, for example, in Copper Tone, we sell to women, moms or housewives, because they are both the shopper and the user in many, in many occasions. But on the, at the same time, we have other categories such as athletes' food, uh, in which lottery mean is the uh, leader, but the consumer and the shopper is mainly a man. So it really varies from brand to brand, and we have 39 brands in, in the division. And, uh, and the work that needs to be done to build each and every one of those brands is different. And I think uh, what we were going to share, uh, probably firstly me on a broader scale and then Denise more double clicking on a specific brand, hopefully will shed some light on it. Well, the brand has done um, a lot of changes, not only in these last years, but since its beginning, to be able to serve and to fulfill what a woman wants from a, from a beauty brand. And, and yesterday that we were also speaking, we're also in an industry in which it's not only fashion or how you look, it's also how you feel. So we make women feel better and we need to help women to feel better in every single aspect of their life because you have your makeup on or your skincare all day with you. So what we are trying to do is to help these women, these entrepreneurial women, these women that has less time in, in, in during her day to day, to feel comfortable, to feel, to feel beautiful quicker and easier, and giving them the ability and the empowerment to do it themselves, to feel better with themselves, but also pampering them. Uh, one of the main mantras of the Steel Other Company is the high touch. So we really want to touch women and to help them to feel better with themselves, giving them the tools to make it by their own, no? What I would tell you about that is, um, Typically, the way brands that have a lot of heritage, good equity uh, as a baggage, uh, the way they do it is innovation. The, the, the thing is, uh, we tend to focus on product innovation. You know? And new product development is not only the only, not the only way of innovating. 
There is uh, definitely commercial innovation. There is communication that can also be innovative. So, so the retro is, is now also a fashion, right? And how can we combine, and there are brands that have done it successfully, but how can we combine all that positive baggage and equity that we have, but talking to consumers in a way that they don't see us, such as uh, what Denise shared on Steel Lauder, we also have a couple of brands, for example, Desenfriol. Now it's an anti-flu brand in Mexico that has aged with its consumers for 65 years. No? And today, young consumers are not buying Desenfriol, they're buying something else. So, so we need to, to catch up, ensure that the conversation is, is actually modern, that we identify those insights, which is a very overused word, in, in my opinion.